Hey. So, uh, this is a bit more sobering of a scene. This is, uh, this is Fort Myers Beach. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this place was, was destroyed. There's a pier. I was here a couple years back. Um, or what's left of the pier. Right? Left of the pier. But, uh, I was able to drive out here. But, I mean, clearly, here, um, there's a lot of damage. This hotel, I mean, it's been two months, so that hotel might have been destroyed. They just built it back up that fast. Quite possibly. It could be new construction. Um, I think there was a, well, I know there was a building here. Um, like probably a beach pavilion with a showers and bathrooms and shops and stuff for it was a few years back that I was here I don't remember exactly what was here but uh, there was something this is a, this was the prime pier for Fort Myers Beach and uh, this was definitely some businesses um, I mean everything isn't destroyed but it is pretty well devastated it's not uh, wasn't entirely hype I'll put it that way um, I don't know if there's any businesses that are actually open right here, but it, yeah, I mean, there are some buildings still standing I mean, for what that's worth. Um, I don't know if they're habitable, but uh, they did survive in mostly intact. So, there is that. Um, parking lots here. I'm not the only person out here looky looing today, clearly. But uh, yeah, this is this is a lot worse than the other beach that I was at. On, obviously, this is the south side of the storm. This is I think there's a there's an island up that way, Sanibel, uh, and Pine Island. Looks like the bridge over to Sanibel might be intact. I don't know if it's they're allowed people to pass over it. See any cars on there? I don't know. I don't know, that might be that adventuresome. Um, looks like there's gonna be a pretty sunset tonight. But uh, I think that it, that island of Sanibel is pretty much wiped out. And uh, another one even north of there called Pine Island, which is in between where I was earlier. But uh, yeah, this is, this is truly destruction. This is the force of a category four, almost category five hurricane. And uh, what it can do, I'll, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more driving around here. Maybe I'll film out of the car, see what I can see. But, uh, there's a real strong gas smell here too. So I can get a little uneasy. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, maybe a former gas station that's uh, Maybe it's right there. <laughs> a little uneasy with the gas smell here. It's very, very strong. But uh, this is Fort Myers Beach. We'll be back. Fort Myers Beach strong. We'll be back. Sandal Factory. Wish you the best. I suppose this is what Clearwater Beach could have looked like. You know, and I did see, to be fair, I might have been belittling a little bit because I was surprised at the lack of damage in uh, that other beach that I was at. I'm drawing a blank as to what the name of it was at the time. But uh, this is this is for real. This is no joke. This is a lot of damage. I mean, that structure is still standing, but it's probably flooded. Uh, anyways, that building is still standing. It. It's taking some damage, but uh, I'm gonna take a picture with it. Can I take a picture while I'm still doing this? Seems that as much as I can do now. That worked. Anyway. 
anyways, let's, uh, let's go over to the street here and see what we got to see. I mean, no doubt this is bad. I guess if you're gonna look at the silver lining, it's not been completely leveled. It's pretty bad. You know, that was a Winds Beach store. It is it was definitely wiped out. This is a pretty cool little beach. I said at the time when I came to visit, I wouldn't be in a hurry to come back, and that well. <laughs> So now, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drive around a bit more and get some more video.